Hello everyone, I'm Thomas Wooden Railway and welcome to this review on the Thomas & Friends Wooden Railway 2016 yearbook that you see in front of you here. Um, as you can tell, it is the volume XXI, which stands for 21, so this is the 21st year of the Thomas & Friends Wooden Railway line. I thought I would show you guys this yearbook that's relatively new. I think it's been out for a couple of months. And I'm just going to go through it and show you all what there is to offer. As you can see on the front here, we have Thomas and Percy Phillips, one of those new items. We have Rosie in the back. Let's not forget about her. And so let's just get started. Um, I haven't done one of these yearbook reviews in a long, long time. So this is actually kind of fun. On the front here, we have sort of a, it's kind of a description of what this is. It's a yearbook. And on the right side, we have table of contents. So that's, those are all the things we're going to see in this review. And that first thing right there is The Great Race, which everybody's excited about. It's the new movie that's coming out in the fall of 2016. It's gonna feature a lot of new characters and some of those characters are going to get wooden railway models. So there's the great race, that's Ashima, I believe. And then one of the new characters is going to be Vinny or as his wooden railway model is known, it's Racing Vinny. I believe he's going to be, I won't call him the villain, but he's not gonna be a very nice engine. There's Ashima as well. So we're going to get wooden railway Vinny and Ashima and then I don't think these are related to the great race. I might be wrong on that, but um, I, maybe they are. Um, I haven't seen the movie, obviously. They're the Diesels in Disguise three pack. So we have Diesel right there, who's hiding in some Vickerstown cargo. And then these two pieces over here are supposed to represent um, Dart and Den. So very interesting. Uh, pieces to say the least. Then we have Frida. She's another engine that's going to appear. I believe there's more great race stuff on this page. Yes, more great race stuff. All right, so one of the big destinations that's going to be introduced in the movie is Vickers Town Station, which I'm really excited about. As you can see, it's a massive station. It has four bays or lanes of track that um, the same that Natford has, but um, as you can see, this middle area right here is a lot bigger. So this is going to be a massive station. I can't wait to get it and introduce it into my series. And then over here we have the big set that's going to be released as part of the movie. It's called the Race Day Relay Set. And it's a big set. It's pretty tall and towering. That engine up there, that green engine, I believe is Gina. And as of right now, that's this is going to be the only way to get her. Do you guys see that model of Thomas? He uh, looks like he has some black wheels. That's kind of interesting. But in this picture, he has blue wheels. So I, I don't want to bag on this set already, but it features a lot of plastic, a lot of gimmicks. That, uh, that red bridge back there is supposed to be the Vickerstown Bridge, which is, uh, I think the Vickerstown Bridge is a lot bigger than that. But uh, anyway... Um, you guys can pause the video if you want to read the description and such, but I want to keep this video as short as possible, so I'm going to move on. Then we have Start Your Engines, which is not really related to The Great Race, but it kind of is. Um, these are already from episodes that have been released. So we have Streamlined Emily, we have Ready, Set, Race Percy with a cargo, and then we have Philip, who was on the cover there. And so, um, and there's like a description of each of the engines. And then uh, one of the new sets, I actually just saw this in stores a few days ago. This is the Speedy Surprise Drop Set. And kind of like that great race set, it's not very big, but it's very, very tall. As you can see, that red, um, I, don't, I guess it's a red riser, technically. That's actually up to the third level. And I don't think we've ever had a Thomas Wooden Railway set go that high. So um, the set comes with James. And basically, you just go up to the top there and you race down one side or go down the other. And then we have some plastic... Uh, almost barriers at the end to keep the engines on track. So let's move on. Oh, we got a little sneak peek of what's to come. This page features the steam team. And what's really interesting about this page is that all of these pictures you're looking at are learning curve, Tomy era promo pics. They have not bothered, maybe Gordon. Gordon might be the only new one, but the majority of these pictures you see right here are from a totally different company that they haven't bothered to update, which is kind of interesting. So that's the Steam Team, and then we have some of Thomas's friends. One of the new items coming out this year is Bertram. Um, he was featured in only one episode um, back in season five, 
But the funny thing with Bertram's model is he's always been depicted inaccurately. He's always um, just been a tank engine when in the TV series he was a tender engine. So he's being released and um, his face right there is a little bit, that's not his final face. Um, it looks a little bit different if that makes sense. So that's definitely a prototype is what I'm saying. And then as part of the great race, I'm sure a lot of people are going to love this. We have the Flying Scotsman. He's being re-released. Um, as you can see, it talks about the great race right there. It will be really interesting to see if this model is any different from his 2013 version, or are we going to get a brand new Flying Scotsman that's going to um, look like how he looks in the great race. So then the next couple pages are just some more of Thomas's friends. Um, we have like a, a The Adventure Begins item, James there. Um, let's, I don't want to, I don't want to fly through this, but as you can see, um, these are mostly just like promo pics and prototype pictures, especially on this page, yep. So we have a prototype Luke, who obviously doesn't look like that, and then we have the three, or I guess the six wheel Stafford that never made it to production. And then we have more of Thomas's friends here. This pa these pages right here are just designed to get you excited to go out and buy um, more of Thomas's friends so you can have a really big Thomas Wooden Railway collection. There we have Belle, Mike, Bertie, Caitlin, Skiff the Railboat. Some more of Thomas's friends, some old, some new. All right, now we're back to new stuff. These are the light up reveal engines. Um, not too many of them as of right now. Um, Thomas and Henry came out last year or the year before. And the new item in this, I guess like this subsection of Thomas Wooden Railway is the light up reveal Annie and Clarabelle two pack which I'm really excited because we get to see the passengers inside light up when they roll along. And then another kind of variant of Thomas Wooden Railway is the roll and whistle engines. These have all been out for a couple of years, but the new one here is roll and whistle Connor. It actually looks kind of neat, I will say. And they say Charlie's new, but Charlie's been out for a while. I think that's an error. And then if you weren't enthralled by the roll and whistle engines or the light up reveal engines, you could get the talking engines. And there's a couple um, variants of them, mostly main characters. Diesel 10 is probably the coolest here. Um, I'd actually like to see a light up reveal Diesel 10 if we're going to go down that route. Um, we have the battery operated engines, which I looked at just a few videos ago on a big review that I did. And I looked at all of these engines except for that one right there, Victor, because um, he's not out as of the making of this video. So I looked at all of these engines in that big one. Uh, let's move on. So we have special moments. These are basically just like the the three, the two and the three packs. Uh, the McColls Farm Petting Zoo. These are actually really soft. I don't have these yet, but in the stores there's like a section on the box um, where you can feel how soft they are, and they are indeed very soft, it will say. Bill and Ben, we still need normal versions of these two. Santa's Little Engine. Um, that's from last year, the Thomas Engine gift pack. That's from 2015. We have some Tale of the Brave items, Adventures of Thomas, um, still being sold. And then we just have random two packs through here, um, and three packs with the pirate ship delivery. So as you can see, we have just some normal ones, um, like the oil and, uh, coal cargo. And then we also have some pertaining to episodes, such as Celebration Salty, and then some pertaining to movies. And now we are to the sets. I always like this. I like to see what sets there are. The Musical Melody track set has been out for a while and from my understanding wasn't too popular because it's very limited what you can do. But basically when Thomas rolls down that hill right there it makes sounds. So there's the Musical Melody track set. This is from last year. It's the Celebration on Sodor set um, celebrating the 70th anniversary of Thomas and Friends. It's a pretty small set, but you get that cool uh, ship in the background. Let's move on to the next page. All right, so these, this is from Dinos and Discoveries, I know. It's the Volcano Park Deluxe set. It's a small set, but you get that big erupting volcano in Thomas there. And then this set over here is the Pirate's Cove Discovery set. It's not very big either, but it's very tall. And you get a pirate ship, and you can't really see it because of the the crease in the paper, but that's like a water buffer, just kind of unique, and a bridge. And oh, that just talks more about the pirate ship. So these items have been out for, I'd say, at least a year. Um, this is an old set, the Lumberyard Waterfall Adventure set. 
That's been out for a while. Uh, Reg and Percy at the Scrapyard looks kind of familiar. And Steaming Around Sodor is actually kind of a new one. You get some exclusive items um, and you get a battery powered Thomas. So let's keep moving on. These are some standard sets that have been around for a long time. You guys can pause the video if you want to see more. This is the 5-in-1 set. So look how many different uh, variations you can create here, which is kind of unique. Then we have the big Tidmouth Sheds Deluxe set. Um, it's interesting. I've never seen this sold in stores. I wonder if you have to go online to buy this. But basically, we've had this design of a set in the Thomas Wynn Railway range for a really long time. And if you take a look at this picture, you're going to find all sorts of things wrong with this picture. There's a lot of messed up things that shouldn't be happening. What's interesting is I guess Mattel still sells, or they still produce the road pieces, but you can only get them in this set. And then the entire set itself fits in this giant Thomas, which is kind of cool. The oval starter set, about the basic, the, the set that, uh, that is about as basic as you can get. The Thomas's Fossil Run set from Tale of the Brave comes with Timothy. Then we have some new destinations. The McColl's Farm Chicken Coop destination, which I mean looks cool, but there's not a whole lot I don't think you can do with that. I have the Duck Pond Crossing um, set here. You can feed the hungry duck, as the little picture says. Then we get into our um, destinations that have been around a while. There's Cranky the Crane. Then the Steamworks Lift and Repair has been out for a few months. It's a very cool destination. I like it a lot. I've looked at the Tidmouth Station and the Deluxe Railroad Crossing signal in my videos. Um, there's the ever popular Bubble Loader, still going strong. And I actually have the Sodor Dynamite Blast. Um, it's a nice item. Then we have a new version of the Sodor Oil Derrick. And fortunately, Natford Station is still being sold because we need the biggest station on your Thomas Wooden Railway layout. So, let's keep moving along. I mean, this look at this. This yearbook is actually pretty big. They, I think they get bigger and bigger each year. Tidmouth Sheds, you always need to have this if you want to create the, the cool Thomas Wooden Railway layout. And then they still sell the Deluxe Roundhouse, which I don't have, but apparently, by the picture here, makes a lot of noise and sounds. Then we have the Sodor Washdown, which has been sold for a while. The Deluxe Over the Track Signal and the searchlight for the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. And then more accessories. These are basically destinations, but smaller. Um, I have these two up here. And I really want to get this Bluffs Cove Lighthouse. I think that's a really cool one. All right, building solutions. This is basically for your novice, Thomas Wooden Railway collector or builder. Um, the Shore Fit Trap Pack is something new. Basically, it features a lot of these like smaller pieces that are hard to find. Some ramps, which is really key because you always need more ramps. And then these tracks right here, not really sure how they work, but they kind of feature a weird thing at the end there. So that's new. Then if you don't want to go out and buy risers, you can just use pieces of track to um, make your layout higher with the Build It Higher Track Riser. And then we have some more like expansion packs up there. We have the risers I was talking about, some curved track pieces, and the straight and curved expansion pack. All of those have been around for a really long time. Playtime accessories. So if you don't want to go out and buy track, you can buy like a felt play mat or a storage bag or a two-in-one play board, which I think flips over and there's two designs, one on each side. And then the Up and Around Sodor Adventure Tower, I th I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this in stores because um, a lot of toy stores seem to carry that because it's nice and compact and you can get some wooden railway action going. And then we have the Island of Sodor Play Table, which is very similar to what I'm using right now. And then a Builder's Guide continued. Uh, oh, so what this is, so they recommend getting like a basic set and then adding on to it and then this is what you can build. So once again, you can pause the video if you're interested in seeing what these all look like. It's very cool, um, I will say. Like sometimes you have like extra pieces of track left over and then they, they tell you where everything goes. Um, I think they've been doing this, they've actually been doing this for a while where they want you to buy expansion packs and expand the sets you already have. Then we get kind of a, uh, almost like an advertisement here for the, the items that we are looking at. Uh, more ways to discover. Then we have uh, the My, yeah, this is really just an advertisement. The My First Thomas, which is relatively new. If you don't like Wooden Railway, you can go with the Take and Play. That's been around for about, I mean, I guess we're close to about 15 years. 
And then we also have the Thomas and Friends Trackmaster set, which has been totally redone with new everything, basically. Aha! This is what I was looking for. So we have a brand new, like, merchandise exclusive character like Logan and Sam were. His name's Dustin. And you can either buy, buy Dustin by himself and you get a book, or you can buy Dustin in this big set that comes with a lot of exclusive items. That's known as the Dustin Comes in First Set, and that's the book pack. So I guess the merchandise exclusive characters are going to be sticking around for just a little bit. And then we have some interactive things. You match the part. Oh, so like the lamp and the lamp over there. I get it. Very cool. Then we have, uh, oh, we need to help Thomas get to Sir Topham Hat, I'm guessing. Very cool. Let's see, we're almost done with this. All right, this is a blank page, and what you're supposed to do, it's of the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. You're supposed to go on to the next page. Uh, there we go. And you're supposed to use these stickers and decorate it all up. Like I said, very interactive and neat. Oh, we got more stickers. So the, the, that first one there was of engines. These are of sayings and really useful coming through. I'm a diesel. Very cool. All right, so I think we're, we're about done. All right, so then um, what this is, this is the last page. And it might be hard to tell, but you can kind of see something's been torn out here. Let me show you guys what that is. It's actually a poster that you're able to tear out of the yearbook itself. And it, it's uh, double-sided, which is really unique. So here's the front side. I'm sorry I can't get the whole thing in one shot. It's actually pretty big. Um, there's the size of the yearbook. It's actually double the size of the yearbook, which makes sense because you have to fold it up inside. So this has uh, some cool graphics, as you can see. Thomas the Tank Engine, Sodor since 1945. Pretty cool. And then if you don't like that design, you can flip it over and get a horizontal design of James, Thomas, and Percy racing along. So this is very cool. And unfortunately, I don't know if you guys noticed, unfortunately, I kind of tore mine getting it, trying to get it out. Um, nonetheless, I still think it's very cool. So that's the end of the yearbook, guys. The only thing we're missing is the back cover here, which features kind of a set that we can build, although this is pretty pointless because no road vehicles can fit through that. But anyway, that is the Thomas Wooden Railway 2016 yearbook. I just wanted to show it to you guys. And um, I want to thank you all for watching my recent uploads. I know I've been uploading a lot recently, and I greatly appreciate your support. And I hope you guys enjoyed those videos as well as this video. And I want to say thank you so much for uh, being great fans, being great subscribers. Uh, let me know what you think of this yearbook in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear your opinion. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.